Well, this is interesting. It's getting tough to actually vlog right now. The mayor's just issued a state of emergency, only essential and emergency vehicles allowed on the roads in New York City. We're getting slammed with a 36 hour nor'easter. It could be up to 20 inches of snow. This is the most snow that we're gonna get, I believe, in about five years. And I'm gonna go outside and show you what it's like in Park Slope, Brooklyn. <laughs> How long are you gonna last out there? Probably, if I last like 10 minutes, I'll be surprised. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, guys, this is the first thing we see. Uh, I don't know if, you throwing a snowball at me already? <laughs> Barbershop's open. New York's strong, man. Places are open. This uh, Greek restaurant open as well. You almost slip? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've never seen snow in Mexico. I won't make it to the corner. You've never seen snow in Mexico, right? In Mexico, no. I mean, we have snow in the north, in some parts of my state, but I've never seen it there. Cool. Man, these cars are really struggling to get up the hill here in Park Slope. That guy had to get pushed. No, don't throw it at the lens, please. I know. Snow mom myself, snow woman. <laughs> Look, I just need to stand here for like two minutes. And I'll become one. So you can see on 5th Ave, like the busy street here in Park Slope, there are still cars out, mostly four wheel drive. I wanted to see what one of the brownstone streets would be like. So we're walking on Garfield Place and not, obviously not shoveled because it's not a main thoroughfare. Under. I think it looks really beautiful here. And I'm gonna show you more of it as this snow comes down, it's getting, it's getting tough to actually vlog right now with this snow flying in. And we lost Adriana. Bye. You going back? Yes, I made it. I think it was 10 minutes. 10 minutes, yes. Now I have to go back. Wish me luck. Good luck. It's kind of surreal. To be honest with you, is barely anybody out. with some people shoveling to like the sides here. Oh, I have a really good use for my neck gator here. It's like doubling as a scarf. Careful of yellow snow. A lot of dogs around here. I will leave it at that. You like the snow? Oh, you love it. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun for them. <laughs> You'd practically go sledding if you lived here. I never found snow to be such an inconvenience living in New York. It was always a fun thing because as I showed you before, you know, so many places are open, so you don't really have to rush to the supermarket. You know, my bodega down the block, 100% open on a day like today. And I bet you they're doing deliveries as well. It's that New York City spirit, but you know, I, I had to come out here once every five years, something like this, to feel like I have all Park Slope to myself. And, you know, this neighborhood's really beautiful in the fall and spring, but give it a nice coat of snow and it, it's beautiful as well, even if it's a nor'easter. You know, it, we always get funny reactions to snow in New York City because some people say, oh, I'm from Minnesota, I'm from Maine, this is nothing. And people in Arizona or Florida say, oh my God, how could you live in a climate like that? The truth is, our winters, especially the last few years, have been pretty mild, at least compared to how I thought they were when I was growing up in North Jersey. It always, it always felt so much colder in my mind than what it's actually like. Global warming. You tell me. Oh, thank you. Yep. Good luck with this. Uh -huh. 
I was just telling her <laughs> growing up in the suburbs you got a full driveway to shovel in New York I mean you have the path in front of your brownstone here and you have your steps that's it but impressively a lot of these businesses on fifth are still open I'm really impressed but not surprised at all so I'm actually uh, I'm actually hiding out in one of these little outdoor dining bunkers indoor dining is coming back February 14th but you tell me, would, would you eat outside in this weather? Now hear me out, if you had a covered room, some hot chocolate, marshmallows, I would do it. If it was completely enclosed, of course. But yeah, Park Slope, it's looking good right now. Looking very good. These are probably some of the roughest conditions I've vlogged in a while. Out in a storm. You know, I wasn't making YouTube videos the last time New York had a storm like this. So for me, it's just fun to have a memory of this. And, you know, every New Yorker has a different story. And maybe this isn't as sexy as seeing Midtown Manhattan or Times Square covered in snow. But for me, this is awesome. Awesome. be seeing upwards 18 to 20 inches of snow when this is all said and done so far they're keeping at least fifth Ave plowed pretty well fifth Ave's looking good but most of the cars I see on the roads are all-wheel drive so we saw one car get stuck before I'm about to turn around because Adriana said she was gonna make hot chocolate and I just you know I really can't think of a better idea than that Guys, I wanted to share something. When I stopped filming with this camera, I caught a delivery guy on a bicycle, really struggling. And I have to say, if you're watching this video today in New York, don't do delivery unless you absolutely have to. And if you are doing delivery, tip double what you normally would because the conditions out there, like I am just so impressed with the work ethic of the, the DoorDash Uber Eats people. It's is really inspiring. All right, guys, quick announcement. If you want to join our Patreon for February, I'm going to send you one free postcard from Adriana's new collection. If you want to buy all five postcards, check the link down below to her Etsy shop. Tell me what you thought about this video. Super random. What's the snow like where you're watching from? Does it snow? I'm curious. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, until next time.